Hello everyone, I'm Eli, and today we're going to make a leather scroll case from Craft Foam. Here's a list of the materials we'll need. You'll also find a copy in the description. We'll use aluminum foil and an iron to add texture. Set your iron to medium and press for a few seconds across our foam. Our foam should now be fully textured. Now that we added texture, we'll add some black, which I thinned out with water. I added too much water when I thinned out my paint, so I decided to wipe off the excess. Now for some dry brushing. Get some paint on your brush, then remove the excess on a paper towel. We want to tilt the brush, so we apply it to the top portion, leaving the recessed textured area black. I like to add just a touch of red to our brown paint to add to our dry brushing. I only found white twine at the dollar store, so I decided to paint it brown with thinned out paint, although white would look good too. You'll need about seven feet for this project. We'll need the cardboard tube from a roll of napkins. Roll the foam onto our tube so we can get our measurement to cut. Double check to make sure we have a good fit. Next, we'll cut it to length using the roll as a guide. Now fold it in half with the textured area inside. We'll mark it at a quarter inch, then every half inch, followed by drawing a line about a quarter inch in. We'll then need to make a series of holes. A toothpick screw drill bit will do. Go ahead and start making the holes. A piece of cardboard under our folded foam will make this easier. Let's cut the twine about four times the length of our foam. Now thread an upholstery needle on both ends. The tighter you tie it, the smaller a knot, which will make our sewing easier. Lace the two bottom holes, making sure our twine is equal length before moving forward. I just did a simple lace similar to lacing up my gym shoes. On the last two holes, make sure the twine ends up on the inside. Now is a good time to check that our twine is not loose before we tie it. Then go ahead and double knot it. Cut off the excess twine, careful not to cut our foam. Using our tube, we'll trace a template for our end cap. Then we'll go ahead and cut it and make sure it covers the end of our tube.
Now measure and cut the second part of our end cap about an inch and a half in height. Wrap it around our tube so we can mark where to make our length cut. We'll use the piece we just cut as a template, but we'll make the length slightly longer. Just like we did for our tube, we'll make a mark at a quarter inch followed by every half inch. Similarly, we'll make our holes too. Next, we'll fold it in half and mark it a quarter inch from the end and the middle. We'll go ahead and make the two additional holes. Now wrap it onto the circle piece and mark where the holes line up. We'll make our holes about a quarter inch from the edge where we made our marks. Here we'll sew the two pieces together, start by threading the first hole in each piece and tying it off with a double knot. Now sew the rest of it together. When we get to the end, we'll double knot it and cut the excess twine. Just like we did for our tube, thread an upholstery needle on both ends and sew it together. Place the end cap on our tube and tighten the twine, ensuring we have a firm hold, then tie with a double knot and cut off the excess twine. Repeat the process for our second end cap. This piece should hold in place, but be loose enough to take on and off. If you liked the video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.